Hey, how's it going, our nerds? And welcome back to another video on the channel whose owner's name starts with Didi and ends with Mark. It's the Didi Mark channel. And in this video, I ain't even gonna waste time. You read the title. I know you read the title. You know that I know that you read the title. So let's just stop pretending here. Yes, your eyes do not deceive you. This is, in fact, a video where I will go over tips on drawing dynamic action scenes from a course I recently took provided to me by my, I don't even know how many times at this point, regular sponsor on the channel, Coloso. So yeah, drawing action. For the art connoisseurs among you who might be new to this channel, I'm something of an action drawer myself so yeah i thought it would be perfect when coloso approached me with this course to review because surprise surprise this course is taught none other by a manga artist so it was almost literally made for me to review it anyways before you fall off your seats from me keeping you at the edge of it for so long that course is called drawing dynamic action scenes by guillem dotted and i know i know i too i'm excited to dive into this so yeah like my last course review video i'm gonna be doing a review of the course giving you its pros and cons then i will rate the course's competency and see if it's worth the asking price and lastly i'll give you all three free tips from the course so we as well can step up our dynamic action game oh oh and the entire time in the background you art nerds will watch as i draw an action scene myself using everything i learned from the course but whatever with that said let's make like a sports event and get clapping baby Okay, so Drawing Dynamic Action Scenes by Guillaume Dodden is the course we're going to be looking at today. And it was provided to me by my amazing regular sponsor of the channel, Coloso. And if you don't know, Coloso is a great educational cipher artist that provides high quality courses for all types of illustrations. And as you already know, art nerds, they have courses from some really respected artists like Rhino Tuna and Mogum, both of which we covered on the channel previously and whose course we're looking at today, Kenji underscore 893, aka Guillaume Dodden. So quick bio on our instructor here, he's an independent manga artist that works on a manga titled Warden. Links below to check it out if I remember, but yeah, Warden is Guillaume's manga, and from what I've seen, it looks like Samurai Dragon Ball, and that's badass, and I mean that genuinely. It also looks like it was drawn by one of God's own pens, but that's neither here nor there. So yeah, that's Guillaume. I've been a fan of his work for about a year now, but whatever, who cares? This isn't a place where we sit and fantasize about Frenchmen all day. That would be Emily in Paris, but moving on... <laughs> But moving on, uh, starting with the course review here, the first thing I want to say is the Guillaume early on lets you know that his style of drawing action is a more manga inspired style and therefore it might not be the style that you're looking for. I love this because just as there are many art styles in general, there are also many styles in which action can be drawn. So for example, I would say I'm really into drawing action scenes, fights and stuff like that and I obsess about it and look at drawings of action daily, but I tend to only like action drawn in the manga style. I tend to feel nothing towards western comic action scenes, so yeah, all that to say everybody swings different man and i'm glad guillaume gave the heads up whatever moving on staying in line with guillaume giving you heads up before jumping right into stuff i also do like how although it is a beginner ish class guillaume lets you know the skills you already need to have in your arsenal to really get the maximum benefit of the course and it should surprise absolutely nobody that guillaume expects you to have at least a decent grasp of muscle anatomy Moving on from all the forewarnings lol, I just wanted to say if there was one word I could use to describe this course as a whole, I think I'd use the word detailed. Guillaume goes over all you'd need and expect from a drawing action course, but then Guillaume goes above and beyond and covers things that most other instructors wouldn't, and it never feels out of place or bloated, well for the most part by the way, and it's always a wow, I can't believe he's going this in depth type of feeling, you know? For example, Guillaume really didn't need to spend as much time as he did teaching in detail how to draw a proper fist, you know, talking about how long each finger is compared to one another or how the knuckles align in a certain descending order he didn't need to do all that but that was very very welcome that he did and Guillaume does this for a lot of the concepts a lot of the times in the course another thing I love about this course is and I guess this falls in line with how detailed Guillaume is but this course has everything bro like from the very basics like even just communicating movement with simple lines on a box to more broad stuff like posing the characters applying shadows to moving objects slash characters using hatching how to draw the impact or splash or explosion effects that happens when a punch or kick lands or stuff like even how certain actions like punches affects the direction in which the head of the person or object it impacts moves like this is nuts i wish i had all this when i was starting out by now i'd be whipping out action pages like i'm morata or some shit. <laughs> but yeah i wish i had all this info when i started out because although now all these techniques and stuff are so innate to me early on these things guillaume points out and teaches so brazenly were things that took me years to discover on my own but yeah whatever who cares not only does this course cover aforementioned broad stuff this course even has the subtle stuff like inking details when drawing action 
But yeah, last but not least, when it comes to the many pros of this course, like the Mogan course last time and the Rhino Tuna course before it, the PSD files for all the drawings done for each section of the course was made available for download so if you want, you could download his layered files and analyze it. Now that we've covered all the pros, now it's time for the cons. Yes, believe it or not, there are cons to this course. I know it sounded like I wanted to marry the course and have my first child with it, but I like to think of myself as a fair reviewer, so I will not shield you from its ugly sides. The first of which is, the course was in English and not Korean, so no critique for the subtitles this time. <laughs> However, the player was still as garbage as the last two or three times I've done this, man. Like, why am I even surprised at this point? What's new? And finally, my last criticism for the course is, although I said it never felt bloated, there were times where it felt like the pace just came to a screeching halt. Like I know I said I like how Guillaume is very detailed, and I do, but why is it that I'm getting the most detailed foot tutorial more than halfway through a section of the course titled Finding a Cool Pose? Like come on bro, you just spent 15 minutes teaching me how to draw a foot, do I really need another 15 for how to draw the other foot? It's the same thing man, just do it the other way. But yeah, now that we've gone over the review of the course, it's now time for the part of the video where I give my favorites of the many, many tips in this course for how to improve at drawing dynamic action, according to Guillem, our instructor. Tip number one, to communicate an object in motion, you can draw lines or dashes in the opposite direction the object is moving to communicate speed. According to Guillem, the object in motion will look more distorted the faster it's going. For example, the way they usually draw high speed soccer ball projectiles in manga, like the one you're seeing on the screen right now. Staying on this communicating speed tip, another way of illustrating an object in motion besides using simple lines is a technique Guillem called smearing, where the object in motion is moving at such a high speed that the object's physical form appears to be smearing. For tip number two, according to Guillem, to add more oomph to your dynamic action scenes, thicken the lines that are closer to the camera to communicate even more dynamism and even foreshortening. And remember, the thicker the line, the closer it is to the camera. And lastly, for tip number three, when illustrating an action scene, according to Guillem, the best way to choose the most dynamic camera angle or position is to do something Guillem called choosing a shot. When choosing a shot, you draw rough thumbnails in different angles of the exact same action from the POV of the imaginary camera that you, the artist, are moving around the scene in your head. Does that make sense? And yeah, with that said, that is Drawing Dynamic Action Scenes by Guillaume Dodden. Overall, this course was really, really solid. And to be honest, although I didn't really learn anything from it because I'm <laughs> well past the beginner stage of being an artist, especially when it comes to drawing action, but I will say that while watching the course, it shook me to watch what took me two years and thousands of hours of studying, observation, practicing, trial and error be explained in about four hours of content. That's crazy. So finally, is this course worth it? To me, it's a resounding yes, not only if you're a beginner in general, but a beginner when it comes to drawing action. Because as someone who draws both pretty pictures and action, they're completely different skill sets. So yeah, for both experienced and newer artists, depending on where you stand in your action drawing skills, this course is great across the board. So if you hear that and that interests you, and now you're probably thinking about buying this course for yourself or any of the courses in Colossal's catalog, then it's your lucky day. Because Colossal is currently running a coupon event, meaning the price tag on the usual Colossal courses are a little too much for your budget. Worry not, because if you use the special code Colossal has so graciously provided to me to give to you all, my lovely viewers, the code being Mark one that's Mark with two Ks and a number one at the end. So yeah, if you use my code, you get $30 off Guillaume's course. That's right, you can buy this $80 course for only $50 if you click the link down below and use my code. But remember, this coupon event is only active until the 1st of February, so hurry up and snag those insane deals for these courses. So yeah, there you go. And remember, even if you are an art veteran and you paint like Ross draws, but you can't draw action for shit, this course is also for you. Thank you all for watching this video. I truly appreciate it if you made it all the way to the end. I don't even gotta look at you, but I know you built different if you did. <laughs> Anyways, shout out to my amazing patrons for supporting me and supporting this channel. They're the reason I'm able to put a down payment on my cat's new car, so shout outs to them. Anyways, if you yourself want to support me on Patreon, the link to everything you'll need is in the description down below. And yeah, don't forget to hit the like button to let me know you enjoyed the video. Hit the subscribe button as well because that helps out the channel. And last but not least, don't forget to leave a comment because I read all and respond to most comments. Till next time, art nerds. It is I, Diddy Knockout Mark. Peace and love, baby.